This is Pastor Robert L. Carver II, and I'm so glad that you joined me here. I have something I want to let you know. Do you see how high gas is? You see we have a baby formula shortage. We also have food that's high, inflation that's high. What is going on? Well, things may get worse before they get better, and you need to be prepared. Go to preparewithrobert.com. Go to preparewithrobert.com. Brought to you by My Pager Supply. Get emergency food kits right there for 2,000 plus calories a day. You're going to need that. It's brought to you by My Pager Supply. Go to preparewithrobert.com. Don't be left behind. Be ready now. Let's go. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. It's time now for Real News Talk today. Our podcast is special report. Special report next. There you go. Trying to slip in on us here. All hey, right, let's go. Come on, tell a neighbor, tell a friend, tell a phone, tell a graph. That we're on right now. We're going to be doing two things uh, tonight. Real quick, we're going to be going to do a live reaction on the uh, trailer by Candace Owens of The Greatest Lie Ever Told, her documentary that's coming out on October 12th on The Daily Wire. And uh, we're going to watch two of the trailers today. And then we're also going to talk about the interview that Kanye West did with Tucker Carlson last night. We're going to talk about that. He, Kanye went through, talked about a whole bunch of stuff and kind of went off in some other areas. But we are going to talk about one of the subjects that he did talk, talk about. Maybe two. And then you want to definitely come on in here and get get involved. But I'll tell you what, if you, if you be real good... And if you really come on in and you got some comments down below, after you get through sharing this with somebody, definitely we'll take some calls. We'll take some calls. Yes, we'll take some calls live on the air. We want to try that. My, um, uh, my uh, official King Jives has been doing that. It's been working out well. And so I'll th thank him for always being on the cutting edge of vlogging and podcasting. No, like that. Matter of fact, don't, don't, not now, but go over to his page, Mr. King Drives. And um, he's got a campaign going where he's um, trying to rebuild or build a studio. Steady there, our studio needs, needs some people to donate. And as well, you know, be a blessing, be a blessing. Also, if you'd like to be a blessing here, I'll ask you right off. You can always send it. That's going to be at the bottom of the screen. It's scrolling from time to time. You can give cash apps at a uh, dollar sign, rather, RCTV Networks with an S, Venmo, at Rob Carver, the two, PayPal, the RCTV Network, Coinbase, you can do cryptocurrency, at uh, Rob Carver, the II, we want to, uh, you to sow and see, we got a lot going on, we got a lot that we're doing, and we definitely want your input and your support, and always your preference support. If you can't sow a seed, you can sow a prayer. How about that? I need you to do that. If you also, I want to let you know that we're up, uh, we just we did some breaking news, some information over on our Instagram page, Instagram.com forward slash RCTV Network. You want to go there, click there, and you'll see where we did a little bit of expose on the deplorables, the Church of God deplorables, Tim Hill, Ryan Sharp, Kelvin Cabarrus, Anthony Pelt, Mark Williams, and, and the like. Uh, actually, I have some, we have Lion Timmy, Marky Mark from Mark Williams, Kelvin, what do we call Kelvin? What do we call Kelvin? Let's see. What do we call Cabarrus? Is that boy name there? What was that boy name? Come on. There it is. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. So we got there. Oh, we did a video. Uh, if you go to my Facebook page, those are your Facebook right now, you can scan that QR code. It'll take you right there to my Instagram page. Or, or you can go to Instagram.com, RCTV Network. But uh, we're going to talk. We're talking about the net video posted today. What's really going on with Lion Timmy, Marky Mark? That's Mark Williams, Kelvin the Cutthroat, Eric and Anthony, and Ryan the Rascal. <laughs> For us, uh, ha hashtag uh, COG Equity. And those those of you who are whistleblowers and truth boys, you're on the inside. Thank you so much. If you have information about what the Church of God is doing or some of the wrong things they're doing. Uh, you can always, we can always, always, always try to get, to get that trimmed up. You can always email us. It's encrypted at cogequity at protonmail.com. Cogequity at protonmail.com. Also, you can text us 
anytime, 813-303-0151, 813-303-0151, and also to be a support uh, and the uh, subscription service, patreon.com forward slash RCTV Network. You get some exclusive content. We're doing it, y'all, and we're starting a radio show, call-in radio show, where you can uh, uh, listen to gospel music, um, uh, and your favorite gospel worship and praise songs, Christian music. We'll start that real soon. A lot of you don't know, but when I was at Lee University, Cleveland, Tennessee, I did a two-hour gospel music broadcast on Sunday nights on Superpower, 103.1 FM. It was the Gospel Powerhouse of Rob Carpenter. Every Sunday night from 10 p.m. to midnight, I played uh, gospel music. From we, we got a range, our range was all the way down to Marietta, Georgia, through Chattanooga, Cleveland, all the way up to Ottawa, all the way up to Knoxville, Tennessee, and the like. And then we had at least about 10 universities or colleges that were in our listing areas. So a lot of time, the college students would be studying on Sunday nights at the being in church or hanging out all weekend and listening to us. So we're going to start that back real soon. The Gospel Powerhouse of Rob Carpenter. I'm just calling this with just Jesus Music with Pastor Rob. How about that? Anyway, you'll be hearing some information about that. Don't forget our podcast on Spotify, Real News Talk Today. All right. Now, as we got to do, we got to do, we got to do, we got to do. Let's get to this. All right. So we're going to be watching now a uh, fair use, fair use for those of you on YouTube. Fair use, fair use. We're going to be watching a video, a video, a video, a video, the trailer of Candace Owens. A uh, documentary that's coming out on October 12, 2022, called The Greatest Lie Ever Told. I would love any of you have heard about this documentary, uh, uh, what she's going to be talking about, but you want to stay tuned. It's about an hour, I mean, about a minute and a half long, this uh, uh, trailer. You want to watch this. Tell somebody, um, the oldest, <laughs> hey, 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 woo this, go, this, this one going to be some newsy, y'all. You hear me what I say? This we're going, and I want your comments down below. And if you really want to, we'll do the call in as well. How about that? You ready for it? You ready? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Are you sitting down? Don't be driving to watch this because you might. Some of y'all might cuss. <laughs> some of y'all, some of y'all might just cuss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all might do that right there. Who did that? <laughs> anyway, I hope you're ready. You ready? Ready, ready. There's two of them we're gonna watch here. Let's go with it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Woo wee! Mercy. All right. Come on. Marking five, take one. This was the second time he exhibited that behavior. Eleven months earlier. I never been so hurt inside. And even as I'm speaking to you right now, it's starting to come back. This is an autonomous zone. 23 out of 24 hours in a cell. No TV, no magazines, no books, no nothing. So anytime a customer brings a counterfeit bill, you see we have plenty of them. We tell them, hey, this is counterfeit. If the customer insists, then we call the police. How did you feel watching the trial? I thought it was a sham. All right, so I, I just want to start it with just you stating your name for the record, as well as your professional background. I have been a police officer in the state of Minnesota for almost four decades forensic criminologist and certified medical investigator and police practices expert. There's some good moments here. It was like we lived together almost, uh, I guess, it was about four and a half years, almost five years. So you guys, in, in many ways, were some of the people that were the closest to him. And I don't remember seeing your faces on the news or anybody talking to you. So I guess let's just start with that. You guys knew him best. So, who was George Floyd? She's right. We haven't told our side of the story. Maybe it's time for us to tell our story, you know?
Okay. Candace Owens is the host of Candace. She joins okay. us tonight. Okay. Candace, thanks so much for coming on. I mean, I, maybe I'm being... Okay, yeah, there you go. That was the first trailer. That was the first trailer. Oops, so that just removed. There we go. Put your comments down below. What you think? What you think? What you think? What you think? Tell me what you think. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'll wait a second here. Hmm? What you think? What you think? Oh, my. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we're going to do now. Do the second trailer. Let's do the second trailer. Ready for it? Y'all ready for it? All right, let's get on over here. Boy, I got cried up in here. Mercy. That's by Candace Owens. By Candace Owens. Where we at here now? Okay, that's that we played. All right, now let's do this one. Are right, we ready for it? Okay, let's go. This is coming out on October 12th. The Greatest Lie ever told. So Black Lives Matter released their 990 IRS filing. They collected $80 million. Where is that money? It's not here. Everything looks worse than it was. Where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city? <laughs> so my producer just sent me a link. It is just shocking to me because of how much money was raised to think that where he lived, the bills weren't being covered. Super frustrating, but that's a dead end, so. And here's where it gets really interesting. Ready for some BLM pride? Another 200K went to escorts, BDSM workers, strippers, peep show workers, phone sex operators, and webcam performers. And then at that moment, it became personal. And I thought, not only am I going to say the truth, <laughs> I am going to scream the truth louder than you can scream the lies. That it's incredible that the majority of the world hasn't seen this. So Black Lives all right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you think about that. The greatest lie ever told. That's what Candace Owens, her documentary on Black Lives Matter. Is it going to be a hit or is it a flood? Hmm? Huh? What do you think? What do you think about it? Think she's doing a good job, or think she's doing a disservice? Mm, 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 mm. Mercy, mercy. I don't know, y'all. What you think? I remember when Candace first started out. Remember, remember, I remember. From my bedroom, upstairs bedroom. And now look at her. She's a, got a talk show on the Daily Wire platform. And now doing her first documentary. Uh, and we also know that she was with Ye Kanye. And Paris, France with that infamous, with their White Lives Matter shirts on. And Candace is, as they say, causing quite the stir. Causing quite the stir. 
that 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 uh, message or that documentary will be out October twelfth. Put your comments down below. I really be interested in seeing what you have to say. Or you can also call in. We'll do some call in here if you like. You can text as well. I want to know what you think. Is Black Lives Matter the greatest lie ever told? Or was it something that was needed? Something by God that was put here? Something that the world needs to know? And even though there was some impropriety with the money, do you think that this was all what was needed here in the United States and even in the world? $80 million given. Uh, and people gave without even a thought because they wanted to support what was going on in the aftermath of George Floyd murder? Okay, tell what you think. Back in twenty twenty. Now let's go a little further. Let's go a little further. Kanye West, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Kanye uh, was uh, did, a, uh, did an interview with Carl, uh, Carlton Pizzer, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> that would be, now that would be an interview. Carlton Pearson and Kanye West. Because both of them, both of them are very, very, very deep thinkers. And if you're, if you, you know, you, if you just pass it by and listen, you ain't, gonna, you're not gonna hear what either one of them is saying. You gotta, you gotta sit down and be intent with with Carlton Pierce and with Tucker Carlson. I mean, with uh, uh, um, Kanye West. But we're talking about Tucker Carlson and Kanye West did an article uh, interview, and here's something that he talked about. He talked about obesity. And abortion, obesity in the black community, and abortion. So let's go and see what Kanye has to say, and then we'll come back and com comment on that as well. Right? It's like liberal Nazis that will go up and attack you. Like I said, you know, everyone's like, Anna Winter is your friend. I'm like, this Gabby girl and Gigi. And these people, um, they would have never said anything negative unless they got the okay from Condé Nast, unless they got the okay from Anna. They would have never got the okay to comment. Please, please. Like, let's just talk about specifically. So these are people yeah. who are attacking you for your T-shirt. Well, it was a setup. It started off as... Um, it started off as them having this black girl comment and say, well, I felt traumatized when I saw this t-shirt. Like, this is a black girl saying, I felt traumatized when I saw um, a black man wearing something that he wasn't allowed to wear. It's like in Django, when Jamie Foxx is on top of a horse and Samuel Jackson's like, you know, that black guy's not supposed to be on top of the horse. <laughs> okay, and then I went and said, hey, I don't like your boots. I know Anna Winter doesn't like your boots and you're not a fashion person. And then people started to say, I was a bully, but it was a setup. And they finally got it, right? Because I eliminated the, the BLM officer at Adidas. And then I got out of the gap deal. And just one by one by one, I just be, I've been winning these battles, right? Mm -hmm. And they thought they had me. They had the idea that Ye was bullying, uh, what I think the term, the liberal term is uh, a body goes black woman. Now let's talk about Gabby and my good friend Lizzo. Lizzo works with my trainer, a friend of mine, Harley Pasternak, Harley, Harley Pasternak. When Lizzo loses, 10 pounds and announces it, the bots, uh, that's a term for uh, people like, it's like telemarketer call, callers, right. like on Instagram, they attack her for losing weight because the media wants to put out a perception that being overweight is the new goal when it's actually unhealthy. Yes. Let's get aside the fact of whether it's fashion and vogue, which it's not, Let's, let's just, or if someone thinks it's attractive, to each his own. It's actually clinically unhealthy. And for people to, to promote that, um, it's, a, it's demonic. You know- what, Can I ask, yeah. I've noticed this also. Yeah. 
Why do you think they would want to promote unhealthiness among the population? It's a genocide of the black race. They want to kill us in any way they can. Planned Parenthood was made by Margaret Sanger, a known eugenics with the KKK. And I believe that if we saw ourselves as more, if we saw ourselves as a people and not a race, then we would treat our people better. Like if you go to a Jewish person and you say a race, it's, it almost gets confusing. They'll cut you off quickly and say, we're not a race, we're a people. Well, our people are supposed to just say, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Okay, well, what about, do you own the land that you're living in? Do you own, is the contract even in a language that's even possibly understandable, right. you know, for your heritage, you know, and in America, we as blacks will like down each other on how good we speak, but we're speaking English. There's nothing whiter than English. We're not in our native tongue, actually. So we judge each other on white uh, goal lines not based on exactly what our culture is based on. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel. To all right, all right, all right. I hear that, you heard that? What do you think, what do you think? He talked about, he talked about, he talked about Lizzo. He said that when Lizzo loses weight and publishes it, that immediately the box on Instagram and Twitter begin attacking her because that causes them to, lo to lose money because somebody's making money off of Lizzo being big. He also said that promoting obesity in the, in the culture and also especially in the black community, he said that's a form of genocide. What, what do you say? What do you say? Put your comments down below. Now, for those of you who do not know who Margaret Singer is, Sanger, excuse me, Margaret Singer is, we're going to go over here to an uh, article here by the um, USA Today from July 28, 2020. Okay, July 28, 2020. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. And we're going to share this with you. We're going to read this article. Because a lot of people don't know the history of Margaret Sanger. She was something else. She was a wicked woman. She was a wicked, wicked, wicked woman. Let me just say that right up front. She was a wicked woman. So we're going to read this article here with you so, so we can um, be all be on the same page. Let me just move uh, this banner out of the way. All right. And it reads there. Remove statues of Margaret Sanger, Planned Parenthood founded tied to eugenics and racism. This is by the USA Today, a Chris Stan Hawkins, opinion contributor, USA Today. All right, let's go over here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, there we go. It says, so, this by line, how a woman who advocated for the selective breeding of her fellow student, uh, citizens came to be memorialized with those who built a country is hard to understand. All across America, the videos of activists attacking statues play on a loop while some political leaders voice their support for moving all reminders of people whose personal histories put them in a negative light. Uh, in asking for the U.S. Capitol to be cleansed of Confederate statues, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that they must go because their efforts were to achieve a, such a plainly racist end. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, the disgraced Governor oh, Fre uh, Fredo's brother, Andrew Cuomo, said on NBC's Today that removing a statue is a healthy expression of priorities and values. Now, for those who are identifying, those who are identifying historical figures, right, wait a second here, the historical figures with racist roots who should be removed from public view because of their evil histories. Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, must join that list. In promoting birth control, she advanced a controversial, this is historical, this is true, Negro, quote unquote, Negro project. Wrote in her autobiography speaking about to a Ku Klux Klan group and advocated for a eugenics approach to breeding for the gradual suppression, elimination, and eventual extinction of defective stocks. Hear me, follow me. 
those human weeds <laughs> which threatened the blooming of the finest flowers of American civilization. Who was she talking about? Let's continue a little more. This is from the, uh, USA Today. In a 1939 letter to Dr. C.J. Gamble, Sanger urged him to get over his reluctance to hire a full-time Negro physician as the colored Negroes can get closer to their own members and more or less lay their cards on the table, which means their ignorance, superstition, and doubt. Like the abortion lobby today, Sanger, Margaret Sanger, urged Dr. Gamble to enlist the help of spiritual leaders, preachers, to justify their deadly work, writing, we do not want word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And the minister is the man who can straighten out that idea if it ever occurs to any of their more rebellious members. So she went to the church, y'all. She went to the black preacher. Oh, my. And that spirit of racism continues today as more than 300 former and current employees of Planned Parenthood said recently in an open letter, noting a toxic environment. Planned Parenthood was found by, founded by a racist white woman. That is a part of history that cannot be changed. They observed, writing that the pattern of systemic racism, pay inequity, and lack of upward mobility for black staff continues. There's a picture of Margaret Sanger right there for those of you who are watching. Those who are in the podcast, just go to your favorite search engine and type in Margaret, M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T. Space Sanger, Singer, but instead of the I, put an A. Margaret Sanger, there she is. Cultural icon Kanye West has made headlines with his recent statements on Planned Parenthood abortion vendors, which he said have been placed inside cities by white supremacists to do the devil's work. He's right about the locations of the business. Watch this: the vast majority of abortion vendors have set up shop in minority neighborhoods, which can be seen in the scars statistics available at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Though they are only 13% of the female population, African Americans make up 38% of all abortions tracked in 2016. And she used the preachers, y'all. Wow. 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 That's nobody. That's nobody. That's my dogs. All right. She used the preachers, y'all. Used the preachers. She used the preachers. Now, let's keep Let's go further. In the 1970s, when the Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade decision legalized abortion, police showed that blacks were significantly less likely to favor abortion than whites. Yet, New York City, watch this. And Kanye said this last night in the uh, in the interview with Kanye, uh, with Tucker Carlson, in New York City, more bla black babies are aborted than born alive each year. And the abortion industry think tank, the Guttmacher Institute, notes that the abortion rate for black women is almost five times that for white women. Well, slap me on the nose and call me Rudolph. Now that I didn't know. The Guttmacher Institute says that black women are five times more to have an abortion than white women. Now, I find that strange because okay, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 refrain. I'm a, let's, let's go a little further. Let's go a little further. Uh, with, put your comments down below. That's, this is deep, y'all. This is deep. This is deep here. All right. It was seen that singers, hey, y'all, stop that. My, my two dogs over there, they want, I didn't want to play it for us. It was seen that St. Margaret Sanger's vision of ending black lives has come to pass. Though to be accurate, she has also endorsed ending Chinese preborn as well. Among those who advocate for the removal of statutes, signs, and traces of racist ancestors, there is no balancing of good and bad needs. It would be hypocritical to say that the racist attitudes and eugenics policy preferences of Sanger should be ignored because it was a tactic to advance birth control that some consider a social good. The position, the position, the fame, feminist, Gloria Steinem. Look at this. Margaret Sanger looked at abortion as birth control to eliminate the unfit. This is from USA Today, July 28, 2020. Read it for yourself. We got it here on the screen. Let's go. Let's read some more. 
but consider Sanger's own words. And this, I studied this before. This will blow your mind how the founder of Planned Parenthood, her own words. Let me tell you what she thought about the Negroes. In an article titled, A Better Race Through Birth Control, she wrote, Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, given birth control, the unfit will voluntarily eliminate their kind. Their kind. Birth control does not mean contraception indiscriminately practiced, Singer wrote. It means the release and cultivation of the better elements of our society. The release and cultivation of the better elements of our society. This this week, this is in 2020, the Planned Parenthood of Greater New York announced it will remove Singer's name from his Manhattan abortion vendor location because of her awful connection to the eugenics movement. Why stop there? Singer is honored in the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery and at Margaret Sanger Square in Manhattan and a Margaret Sanger statue stands in the Old South Meeting House in Boston, which ironically is enough, enough, ironically enough is on the Freedom Trail com commemorating the Revolutionary War. How a woman who advocated for the selective breeding of her fellow citizens came to be memorialized with those who built a country is hard to understand and make and a mistake easy to address. Why are there, while there are other places celebrating her, these three are good places to start. They should not be removed through mob violence, but rather through the use of democratic tools as a student for life group at the University of Missouri did and successfully petitioned the posters of second to be removed. Here's, let, me, let me do this. Let me, let me show you some of this. Let me, let me give you some of the stuff that Margaret Sanger said. Here are 21 quotes. 21 quotes. 21 quotes of Margaret Sanger, 21 quotes of Margaret Sanger. Watch this, y'all. I've not read, I've read and studied hers. I've not read these, um, in any, I'm not reading these in any particular order, but I want you to get this. I want you to get this because this is, this is not fake news. This is, this is, this is real deal. Real deal, real deal, real deal. Okay. 21 quotes by Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood that will make you sick. A TFP student action. Okay. Number one, there's a video there on YouTube that you can uh, put that. I'll put the link down here later on, if you will, uh, for you. Uh, but here, 21, 21 quotes by Margaret Sanger. In an interview with John Parkson in 1947, she said, But for my view, I believe that there should be no more babies. Okay. That'll kill a society quick, what you say? Uh oh. Number two, an article called Woman and the New Race, Chapter Five The Wickedness of Creating Large Families in 1920. She says, The most merciful thing that the large family does to one of his infant's members is to kill it. Number three, Margaret Sanger, in a letter to Dr. Clarence Gamble, December 10th, 1939. We don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. <sighs> Number four. It's Margaret Sanger in an autobiography in 1938. I accepted an invitation to talk to the women's branch of the Ku Klux Klan. I was escorted to the platform, was introduced, and began to speak. In the end, through simple illustrations, I believe that I have accomplished my purpose. A dozen invitations to speak to similar groups were proffered. She spoke for the KKK in 1938. Let's go a little further. Uh, quote number five. I think the greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world that have disease from their parents, that have no chance in the world to be a human being practically. Delinquents, prisoners, all sorts of things just marked when they're born. That, to me, is the greatest sin that people can can commit. That's an interview with Mike Wallace, you know, Chris Wallace's daddy, uh, 1957. Here she is, another uh, in a book. The most serious evil of our times is that of encouraging the bringing into the world of large families. The most immoral practice of the day is breeding too many children. Breeding too many children. Number seven, Margaret Sanger. Eugenics without birth control seems to be to us a house building upon the sands. It is at the mercy of the rising stream of the unfit. She called the black folks unfit and the Chinese too. 
Number eight, as an advocate of birth control, I wish to take advantage of the present opportunity to point out that the unbalance between the birth rate of the unfit and the fit, admittedly the greatest presence menace to civilization, can never be rectified by the inauguration of a cradle competition between these two classes. That's she said that in 1921. The most urgent problem today is how to limit and discourage the overfertility of the mentally and physically defective. She called black people mentally and physically defective. Margaret Sager. Number 10. No more children should be born when the parents, though healthy themselves, find that the children are physically and mentally defective. Let's go a little further. A marriage license shell, a marriage license shell in itself give husband and wife only the right to a common household and not the right to parenthood. Number 12, Margaret Sanger found a parent, parent, parenthood. No woman should have the legal right to bear a child and no man should have the right to become a father without a permit for parenthood. She wanted you to have to get a permit, a license to have a child. Permits for parenthood should be issued upon application by city, county, and state authorities to married couples, provided they are financially able to support the expected child, have the qualifications needed for proper rearing of the child, have no transmissible diseases, and on the woman's part, no medical indication that maternity is likely to result in death or permanent injury to health. So, again, she was a regulator. No permit for parenthood. No permit for parenthood should be valid for more than one birth. Keep going on. Let's go further. Let's go further. Let's go further. Let's go further. Ah, look here. Number 18. My own position is that the Catholic doctrine is illogical, not in the code with science, and definitely against social welfare, race improvement. You know what they say. Trust the science. This is the science right there, y'all. Eugenics. Number 19. All of our problems are the result of overbreeding among the working class. Knowledge of birth control is easily, essentially moral. It's general through prudent practice must lead to a higher individuality, ultimately to a cleaner race, a cleaner race. She thought the Negroes was dirty. She thought they were nasty. They thought that they needed to be exterminated from the world. And what she did was she ended up, watch this, she ended up using the preachers and the church. She had contests, hear me, hear me. She had contests that which preacher could preach the best message and to get more people signed up and they would give the black preacher money. All of this went back to the church. Whew. Take a breather there, y'all. Take a breather. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, so... Let's go back to some of the facts we just read. According to the U.S. City Land Statistics here, there are more, and Kanye said this last week, last night, there are more babies, black babies, being aborted in New York City than are being born. So, Kanye crazy, but he wasn't lawful that one. Uh, it's a Revelation 8 and 1 said, and there was silence in heaven for the space of one half hour. That, let's, let, let's let that marinate for a minute. Let that marinate for a minute. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow. So, that's that. Let's go back for those of you who joined us late on this podcast. Listen, on October 12th, 2022, Candace Owens will be releasing a documentary on the Daily Wire platform and other platforms as well uh, called The Greatest Lie Ever Told. We're going to look at this trailer one more time, one more, one more again, so you can... Um, See it for yourself. And then let me know your comments down below. Are you going to watch it? Or do uh, you think she has a good point in doing this? Or she just needs to get somewhere and sat down? All right. Well, let's see. Let's watch it. Let's watch it again.
So Black Lives Matter released their 990 IRS filing. They collected $80 million. Where is that money? It's not here. Everything looks worse than it was. Where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city? <laughs> so my producer just sent me a link. It is just shocking to me because of how much money it was raised to think that where he lived, the bills weren't being covered. Super frustrating, but that's a dead end, so. And here's where it gets really interesting. Ready for some BLM pride? Another 200K went to escorts, BDSM workers, strippers, peep show workers, phone sex operators, and webcam performers. And then at that moment, it became personal. And I thought, not only am I going to say the truth, <laughs> I am going to scream the truth louder than you can scream the lies. That it's incredible that the majority of the world hasn't seen this. Did y'all see that? Yep. Wow. That is the greatest lie.com. Go to Daily Wire platform, your app on the dailywire.com. That's going to be released on October 12th. Had by Candace Owens. Then also, let's go to the other trailer. All right, let's go to the other trailer because there were two trailers. One uh, kind of gives more of a. Uh, George, this is about George for the rise of BLM. So let's, let's do this one now. All right, one moment. <laughs> Put your comments down below. I'd really would like to know what you think about this. And let's go with it. Marking five, take one. This was the second time he exhibited that behavior, yeah. 11 months earlier. Mark. I've never been so hurt inside. Fair use, fair use. And even as I'm speaking to you right now, it's starting to come back. This is an autonomous zone. 23 out of 24 hours in a cell. No TV, no magazines, no books, no nothing. So you tell them a customer brings a counterfeit bill, you see we have plenty of them. We tell them, hey, this is counterfeit. If the customer insists, then we call the police. How did you feel watching the trial? I thought it was a sham. All right, so I, I just want to start it with just you stating your name for the record, as well as your professional background. I have been a police officer in the state of Minnesota for almost four decades. Forensic criminologist and certified medical investigator and police practices expert. <laughs> There's yeah, some good moments here. Like, we lived together almost, uh, I guess, about four and a half years, almost five years. So you guys, in, in many ways, were some of the people that were the closest to him. And I don't remember seeing your faces on the news or anybody talking to you. So I guess let's just start with that. You guys knew him best. So who was George Floyd? She right. We haven't told our side of the story. Maybe it's time for us to tell our story, you know? All right. Woo! I said, let that marinate for a little bit. All right. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave that right there. Let that speak for itself. That's the greatest lie ever told by Candace Owens on the Daily Wire platform, dailywire.com. 
on thegreatestslide.com being released. It's a documentary on the rise, George Floyd and the rise of BLM and uh, the truth about Black Lives Matter, October 12, 2022. Uh, show this video. Share this video. Share this podcast with someone. We got some very good information here that we shared with you tonight about who Kanye West was referring to. We talked about Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood. We gave you some stats about how over half more baby, black babies are being aborted in New York City than are being born right now in uh, New York City. So we got all that going on. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a lot. It's deep. It's, it, it, you can't just take it and go. You got to let it marinate, let it process. And uh, so let, we're going to do, do that right here tonight. Listen, don't forget to join me every week. I'll be the downloading, uploading, I should say. Podcast on Spotify, Real News Talk Today with Pastor Robert. I had to stop there for a minute because I was trying to get my health together. I had uh, some, I had some high blood pressure. My Lord Jesus, my pressure was so high, the sky high. I tell you, it was up there, real high, real high, real high, stroke level high. My doctor's like, you got to go straight to the hospital, and I was like, I don't want to go to the hospital, the hospital, hospital. Anyway, but we're gonna get down now. Praise be unto God. He prayed for me. I got a uh, so, uh, this is procedure tomorrow at 12 noon, Saturday. Oh, excuse me. And then on Monday, I've got a procedure. I'll be going to London. And then on Tuesday, I go back over to Moffitt Cancer Center to get my uh, that last, hopefully, hopefully last uh, review there so I can be cleared again three years so far. Uh, uh, cancer free from four stage cancer back from 2019, uh, three years ago. So we believe in God, not worried about it at all. Just got to go through, you got to go through that. I told him, I said, Lord Jesus, when I turned in, everything started kind of breaking out like a bad cough. <laughs> anyway, thank you for your prayers. And I really need your prayer for support. And also, please be a blessing to this RCTV network. We're on Roku, going to be on Amazon Fire TV real soon, and also Vita TV. Also, you can sew there. We're on Spotify. We're getting ready to start a, a radio gospel radio show called Jesus Music with Pastor Robert. We're going to be able to call in and request all your favorite gospel and Christian music. We're going to have that going real soon. We got a lot going on. We need your support. You can cash app or it's there right here on the screen. Venmo, PayPal, Coinbase, with your cryptocurrency. Be a blessing. Or you can always send it the old-fashioned way. For those of you who want to know, we're still here dealing with COG Equity. If you have information you want to share with us, you can send it. COG Equity at ProtonMail.com. It's encrypted, it's private, and you will remain anonymous if you choose to be. This is Pastor Robert L. Carver. I'm so glad that you spent this time with me. Until next time, peace. <laughs>